My, my, my. I am blown away. Um, before I tell you why, thank you so much for clicking on this video, another episode of Blooms For You. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that you can see this and if you'd like to go back and make a comparison to the other times I filled Dendrobium Hibiki, I have always been trying to capture the right light, get out of the shadows, don't put shadows over things that I film. It's a little bit difficult because I film outside for most part and I'm very, very much susceptible to light, wind and all that business. Today there's none of it. Today it's cloudy. And I wasn't going to film Hibiki until it got sunny again to do my intro and my outro. But when I saw the other candidates that were filmed, because currently their blooms are at their prime, I thought, let me see what Hibiki looks like. And I was like, oh my goodness, I can actually see into Hibiki. Look at this. On a sunny day, these colors are so gorgeous absolutely no doubt about it but I can't get this close a visual on a sunny day because the colors clash in a matching way they have the same like palette but you can't look at it because it's just so psychedelic and it hurts your eyes but now on a cloudy day look at this individual hibiki bloom it's Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I am so glad I thought, let me see what Hibiki looks like on a cloudy day, on a camera. And here we are. So welcome and thank you everybody so much for tuning in. If it's your first time here, this is a series I do for all the subscribers. If they leave a comment or if I can see that they've subscribed to my channel, they go on a list, a general database. And then eventually as blooms come around, I tag buds and spikes and dedicate them to you. So welcome. Let me know you're here. Leave me a comment so I can put your name on the list if you like. And if you don't like, that's fine too. Of course, I understand that. I've had a few requests. Please don't mention my name and I'm absolutely fine with that. Just know that you're not being ignored because so if I can't see you, then it's, it, you know I don't want people to think I'm ignoring people, okay? Now, having said that, look at this. And now let's go and look at some other things. Look at this direct flyer golden sunset. One of my little, yes, I'm gonna say it, pocket rockets <laughs> is open and it is the second spike of the year. So I'm really pleased about that. I had her before I started my YouTube channel, I had her in bloom and I hadn't really featured her at all. But here we are, many, many months later, and now I'm doing what I'm doing, and I can give these blooms to Abigail Bourget, who has come to my channel and been so sweet. Thank you, Abigail. I hope that you're doing well. I am so sorry I have not been on your lives recently. It's been really, really busy. Abigail, needless to say, look at this Tolumnia. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm always trying to figure out how to capture blooms in the sun. And I'm like, no, this is amazing. These colors are coming through so true. They are on fire, I'm telling you. Absolutely cute, cute, cute. Little teddy bear kind of things going on there with the markings. And Abigail, I will be back to your lives. I will come in and say hello. So please don't think I've forgotten about you. I have not because here are my Tolumnia Direct Flyer Golden Sunset Blooms just for you, just for you. I think they're amazing. I love them and I'm so thrilled that they're actually coming through true. Perfect, perfect. As far as I'm concerned, okay, now stay cloudy. We have more blooms to film when they come out. So Abigail, your support is so much appreciated. I do hope you see this video. I know that you're a busy lady and um, but anyway, if, when I manage to get into your lives again, I'm going to let you know, regardless, I'm going to tell you that this series, that there is something tucked away in here for you as a massive, massive thank you for your sweet, sweet support, your welcome, welcome approach to me and your channel. 
and I really appreciate having gotten to know you here. So thank you, Abigail. Thank you so, so much. She's back, my favorite little novelty phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis corner survey, variety Chateladay. I call her Lady Chatterley because she has that cheeky look on her face. But for today's video, here are my chuckle brothers. <laughs> yes, I just thought that we'll spice it up a little bit and do a little bit of a, you know, make it a bit different sometimes I do feel I am repeating myself, but I never know who sees these videos. So I have a sixth bloom for Da Porta, Aberta. And um, I don't think that you may understand what I'm saying when I say what I say, but uh, I, I do hope that you do see this video. Your name came up. I don't have a comment from you, but here's my sixth bloom from the Chuckle Brothers. This would be the fifth one that we featured last time. And number six for Da Porta Averta. I just hope that one day you see this video and if you don't understand a word I'm saying, at least uh, you'll hear your name and recognize maybe Da Porta Averta. This is for you, Lady Chatterley, Palanopsis Corner Survey, Variety Chatterley Day. It is, uh, not much at this point other than to thank you ever so much for appearing on my channel. It must have been on one of the subscriber notifications and for that I really really want to thank you and know that at least you've been recognized in some way and if you do see this video yeah if you just let me know I would really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. I hope that everything is okay in your part of the world and I appreciate your support on my channel. Thank you so, so much. So, Phalaenopsis Cornea Servi, Variety Chatela Day. Today it's the Chuckle Brothers. No fragrance at this time of year, but I guess she is not done yet. There's a third bud right in there. Absolutely astounding. I love that spike as well. What an amazing, an amazing novelty phalaenopsis to have. Da Porta Aberta, really appreciate your support. Thank you so very, very much. I need my glasses for just about anything and everything these days. And I never used to have to worry about these kinds of things. But it just so turns out that I am actually wearing my glasses even though I don't need them for these blooms. They are enormous. Norman Torok. I bet when you saw them, you knew. Yeah, this is my CG Roebling, blue indigo. First spike has opened with three amazing amazing blooms this year i am telling you i am over the moon i am overwhelmed last year they were as big as my hand span which from pinky to thumb is 20 centimeters and they are only now three days open these blooms and they're still growing and we're going to surpass the 20 centimeters across look at this Oh, I, I, I'm totally, totally in awe. Now on camera, Norman, they actually look a little bit more on the lavender side. When you see the picture at the end, take a look at the color of the picture. That is exactly how they look in real life. They're a much deeper mauve, much deeper but I do like how the camera is picking up the pronounced throat. That is just one of the most beautiful, beautiful sights to behold, Norman. And I am so, so happy that I didn't mess it up because these have been promised to you for a long time. 
And despite the sunburn in the back and all those kind of hiccups, I've got them for you. Happy, happy days and the fragrance. It is a cloudy day. It's a bit muggy on the humid side and it's about to rain, but this is the time I thought it's best to get them out three days in and be able to appreciate their spectacular crisp color, just fresh. The fragrance is of a bush of roses, not just a bunch, you know, it's a bush. It is so, so gorgeous. I just can't. And it makes me so happy to be able to come here on a cloudy day and give these blooms to you, Norman, for being so supportive of my channel, for giving me that feeling that when I have something to say or share, it means something and I'm not just talking to that hedge over there, <laughs> but that there's a little bit more to it. And I, I really appreciate your comments. I cannot express that enough. It's, it's hard to, to do that in the comments section, but just know that I really, really appreciate your comments and, and, and everything about our communication. So CG Roebling, Blue Indigo is absolutely my pleasure to give these blooms to you. And I actually could go on and on and on because it's just like, oh my goodness. But if you see raindrops coming, yes, it is starting to rain. And I want to have these blooms a lot longer without any blemishes. So maybe we can revisit her one more time. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Norman. What is it about antelope type dendrobiums? They not only have these fascinating curly whirlies, but they also go curly whirly all over the place on a spike, no matter how hard I try to not mess with the spike and keep it in the same direction until all the blooms open. <sighs> Deep breath. So I have tried to find a way to feature this orchid for you, Tran Van Son. Tran Van Son. I'll say that again because language wise, we do somehow communicate, but just in case that went a bit quickly, Tran Van Son. My dendrobium, Sutkinoi, blooms for you. I am very, very happy to say I managed to hold on to some blooms because for some reason there are two missing and I don't know why. I do not know why, but let's focus on the top ones. Some have just opened and some are open a little bit longer and you can determine the difference between how the petals are curled. So this one here is open a little bit longer than this one and this one, which is just open, you see? Not as many curls and still no afro to be seen right here either. Um, if I zoom you out, <laughs> let's have a little giggle, Tran. Look at this. I don't know how else to feature her, so I put a big, big uh, humidity tray <laughs> behind her because I couldn't capture the colors of this fantastic little dendrobium. She's not big at all in my little setup here. She is finally pot bound. I'm very happy about that because these dendrobiums I do seem to struggle with. Anything that looks like a den fowl, uh, take a, you know, go run, run away. So here's Dendrobium Sut Kinoi. And I would like to say thank you very much, Tran. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for overcoming the language barrier between the two of us. I think we've got a good communication going and I really appreciate that. And your support on my channel and you watching my videos, I love that. Thank you very, very much. I'm sure it's not always easy, especially with the way I speak sometimes, changing languages mid-sentence, but I do appreciate to get to know you on this platform. See, even if I put my finger there, I ruin whatever it is to be seen on this orchid. Very, very difficult to film, very difficult to 
appreciate on camera, it, it's very difficult. Um, I hope that somewhere in here, some footage will actually do this cutie justice. It just reminds me of, you know, the 70s hairdo <laughs> with, the, with the, I don't know, was it, was it um, gel or something that they did in the front there? So the sepals start to actually curl in on them themselves. Absolutely fascinating. Best spike ever. Proves to me she's getting stronger. She doesn't look fit at all, but she is getting stronger because last year I had a spike. I had no, no inclination of any of these curls at all. They were just sort of straight, like, you know, like this here, freshly opened bloom, just straight. And now she's coming onto her own and what actually she should be looking like. Absolutely incredible. I hope that I can take a picture that can be looked at a little bit more in depth for the detail at the end of the video. Tran Van Son, I babble, I ramble, this is about you and a little bit about the orchid that I dedicate to you as a big, big thank you for being so supportive on my channel. Dendrobium Sutkinoi, all yours. If I say Pal Dies, I wonder how many of my subscribers and viewers understand Pal Dies. Paldies means thank you in Latvian. And there's one person I know that will understand at least that part, if I've said it and pronounced it correctly, that is Julia Zolotareva. And this is my epicatante, Xiangyu Gold Coast, for you. As a paldies, <laughs> or something similar, but as a thank you, Julia, for being a subscriber on my channel, for watching my videos, for communicating, exchanging your ideas and thoughts with me. And here we are with an idle car in the background. Again, I am so very sorry. I have hit record. I shall continue and hope the filter takes care of the rest. Back to what this is about, Julia, and it's about you. It's about saying thank you. And it's about giving you my, I think, 14 blooms of my Xiangyu Gold Coast. I get lost when I count blooms. My eyes start to go cross-eyed, you know? It's like I can't focus. <laughs> and then when you look at the colors of these blooms, you're also thinking how hard is it to focus on these colors? I have another cloudy day, late afternoon. Seems to be a trend these days, sunny day, and then late afternoon we get in some clouds. But I think it's probably for the best as well, because how else would we be able to be, see these kinds of colors if the sun was shining on them? And I just saw something that I don't like. And these are little green dots on my blooms that are called aphids. And they are no business on the blooms. They're gone. But yeah, Julia, look at this show. Isn't that amazing? There is no fragrance at all. Um, I guess pollinators don't need a fragrance when it comes to colors like this. But 14 is what I counted. It could be 15. It's, it's more than 13. I, I kind of got lost. I really have gotten lost. But I'm so, so happy. She has actually been one of the ones that I found a little bit neglected and I didn't take much care of in the corner there and i didn't think she would give me the same bloom show she gave me last year but i think she surpassed it last year i remember distinctly i had 10. but isn't this amazing oh i love it i love it now she's someone that likes a lot of light but you give her too much sun and this is what she does yeah that's too much sun from two years ago i learned my lesson and since then, I've been taking a lot more care to have her in shade. And that's why, bright shade, mind. And that's why I kind of <laughs> neglected a little group of three.
But never mind, Julia. How do I say? Muchos paldies, combining two cultures to say thank you very, very much for being on my channel, for your support, for your ideas. I'm seeing more, they're coming off. You have no business being there. So everything, everything up to now, and I hope that you continue to enjoy the content. And thank you. Paldies, Julia. So if in this whole video there were some contrasting days, then that is because I film my blooms when I believe they're at their prime. So if there was a sunny day, then yes, you know, you know why. These are clips I put together to make sure that everything looks the part and hasn't faded or anything like that. But here's my hibiki once again. This is the full plant. Starting to lose a few leaves here and there. That's normal right here. I've already lost two other ones from the canes that grew this season. Absolutely normal. Sorry about the barking in the background. Normally I stare him down, but he is further away than me staring him down. So I just stopped the video, stared him down and I'm back. <laughs> anyway, my hibiki is doing fabulous. I'm absolutely loving, loving this color on a cloudy day. I can't, I can't stop. Uh, I'm going to, I promise. But, uh, <laughs> this is for me a sight to behold. Let's see if we can remove the, no, we can't remove the tag. So this orchid will soon need to be addressed. Soon, next year. It'll be okay for one more year. Thank you everybody so, so very much for tuning in. And if you have any questions regarding any of the orchids you saw featured today, anything about their culture, what do I do, then please feel free to leave a comment in the comments below and I will be very, very happy to address it and elaborate. I appreciate your company. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please stay safe, take care, bye.